Hey beauties, morning to you. So beautiful people. I saw something on that that um I don't know, it's like an online site, let me call it that way, that tends to post like videos to hear people's views on it. Um like only one only tempo or something like that. Anyway, they posted a very popular couple, especially the male is a dancer and I think his girlfriend is also one. And they're in a common law relationship because you know they, they've made their relationship public. And so I, I follow them, and he's always seemingly in love and happy with his girlfriend and all of that. Um, and I'm assuming they live together, you know, because of, based on what the post is even saying, um, for 24 years and so on. And I was looking at the comments, and and um, I said to myself, all right, let me put, posit some things to people and kind of flip it around for people to you know really ponder what i'm saying and it has what i'm about to say it's not knocking anybody i'm not here to judge a soul i'm not to judge me i have to look at me but at this in the same breath i have to posit things for us to look at the argument as valid sound or unsound using the laws of deduction and the laws of induction now and what i'm about to say is valid it may not necessarily be sound but it can also be sound Men who are in common law relationships, as we call it, for many years, 10, 20, and so on years, and they don't commit to marriage, there is somewhere for me in the subliminal part of their mind that does not want to commit, not necessarily to that person, but just because that person is in that space right now. You understand? So whoever is the common law girlfriend, you know wife sorry it's we're using that person as a figure there is in the back of their mind um, that they don't want to commit just in case they steal a piece of their neighbor's spine I don't mean their immediate neighbor just in case they should go out and cheat on the relationship you know uh, all right they can um they feel as if they won't be held liable they won't have any answerability to God and to others they don't want to hear oh, you cheated on your wife knowing it is definitely their full-fledged wife and in the back of their minds in a common law situation I'm not necessarily vested and committed whole wholeheartedly in the sense of something legal having a legal binding contract you understand there is a major difference between somebody who officially goes and gets married versus a common law situation there is a major difference i am not in support of it i'm so so sorry people who there are people who choose to do it and accept it but i guarantee you if you interview 10 women chances are 9.9 .9 of those women and i use that point to say basically all but maybe one might slightly differ maybe based on experiences maybe they, ex they grew up in a horrible hostile um home between the husband and the wife and maybe they have that fear of marriage i can understand that but somewhere still even the back of that woman she wants to get married she still want to experience a man saying i love you i am committing to you i'm you know not just saying it to you when nobody's there or even in front of two friends like legally doing that you know under the auspices of marriage in other cases people who are in common law relationships generally it's a man who don't necessarily want to get married to that person but they just they can I read something you know a psychologist was talking you know after doing some studies that men fear men they fear being alone so much they don't like being alone that they will actually even go to, go to the point of getting married to somebody that they don't love just to have some level of companionship and uh, you know to release the pressure in their from their balls their penis their genitalia so that they can have somebody they consistently that they go to without having to say all right I don't want to go and buy a prostitute I don't want to just have the friends with benefits I want somebody that can come home to cook clean wash take care of the children if we should have ch 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 um, children so I don't want the stress of that I'm not wired as a caregiver sort of a man you know we are more protectors and providers so let me have somebody there I don't necessarily need to love her yes so you will have when you find that the man does not want to come in. because this is a question i ask all right you as a man you say you love her you love the woman you profess your love people know that the both of you are together then why not and you're together for 20 odd years or over 10 years or so so why not just say give her the joy of putting on the bliss of a ring and say let us sign two paper to say and let me adopt your last name legally 
you understand? And let us make it legal. Why not just go through the legal one? You know what? That should hurt you. That should hurt you. So what's why? Why not do it? That, that's all I'm asking. Why not do it? Why not do it? You see, that is a question that women need to ask. So he loves you. He professes his love. To, his, he professes, sorry, his love to you. He tells his friend that he loves you. He shows you love. He treats you well, but doesn't marry you. Come on, ladies. Let us dissect it. That's all I'm asking, you know. And you as a man, men, come on. If he, somebody were to dig up your soul and bring your soul through your mouth. And bring your soul through your mouth. These are the possible reasons you're going to give. I don't really want married to her, you know. But she has my kids, she can cook good, she cleans good, she washes good, so on. And you might name some of these things. Two, I don't want to commit just, just in case me see a little catty out there. And things go on, I mean, I feel that guilt because technically she's not my wife. Because people view marriage a certain way, whether you're Christian or non-Christian. They feel like they're going to be violating God. And that's a horrible feeling on the heart of a man. You know, there are other reasons, other reasons, you know, they don't love the woman enough to want to say, I do. And you know, when they tell you the vows, and when you're listening back to the vows, it's as a man, you're saying, what men are really mean them to me? You know, I mean, people do it still and don't mean it. But some men can't bring themselves to that because they're really not vested. They're not invested in that relationship. And in their soul, man, they're not really committed. Because for me, if you're going to live with somebody over 10 years and you can't say, I do, there is there is a problem and we don't want and as a man you probably don't want to unleash it and if we check it chances are you know that you, you really you know, just in case you see your eyes out there you say mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, just in case you know me, me, I, me, me, me hold her in the back pocket just in case we see somebody by the time you look 15 years past 20 years past 20 odd years past and i know of a case more than one cases i've heard of situations where people live together under the common law situation and together Living together, 10, 15, whatever number of years, going, going on, on. And there is a sort of problem. There's not even a problem necessarily, but, you know, problems arise naturally. And uh, the two cases, because one lady told me it happened to a relative of hers, and a man allowed the, the woman to iron her clothes. She was ill. Pretty lady, but she was ill. And uh, you know what he did? That one was ill. Made her iron his clothes, and... Uh, when she had the clothes, somebody saw him getting married to somebody else and told her. And that sent her straight through death's door. The other one, same iron situation. Ironed, and he said he was going to a function, made a lady. Ironed the clothes when somebody called her and said, like she said, um, Maxina say, John, getting married. She said, what? I said, no, man, I'm going with him friends. What? No, I said, John, getting married. What are you saying? And when she went up there, she had to walk up the aisle and touch his face. And they said her mind went, didn't come back. Maybe to this day. And I've heard myriads of stories. I've heard of stories where people living together. And that the man just make love to the woman or have sex. Guys couldn't be making love. And they said, anyway, I'm getting married tomorrow or next week I'm getting married. That, those are extreme examples. But you have cases. And one lady said her brother, she begged the brother, the woman begged the man to marry her. And now when she said, at least before I die give me the, the joy of me and um, let me be married to you and he said no when she died six months later he got married this is somebody who was involved with the man for years living with the man for years so men listen to me i'm not saying that you don't have any feelings towards your common law wife i am not saying you don't have any lovey dovey feelings i'm not saying you don't care about her but it there is a limitation to that you don't value her or love her to the point where you want to get married to her because of some of the reasons that i mentioned one you do want to go out there and have you know sex with other women and maybe she and you want to say just in case you might want to get somebody that you th think maybe in a better financial social stead than the present one that can probably help you or do some things that can make your life better because you do have men like that not only women but if you say oh no one of the money 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 and then things 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 there are other reasons I'm only naming some of the main ones why you see men don't get married and you don't love the woman enough or you don't love her like that. You just can't tolerate her. What she washes well, she cleans well, she what not. Men, it's not good. It is not good. And women are lying. If they say, no man, I'm okay. They're not. They want you to get married to them. They're not. They're not. See, one says on her deathbed, she did admit that she wanted a man to propose to her. But anyway... Twitch is his own. Guys, follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this message, please.